and gentlemen, dignitaries, invited guests, parents, teachers, and my dear friends. On behalf of Marthoma Central School, I heartily welcome each one of you to this annual day. Our institution, Marthoma Central School, is celebrating its ninth annual day this year. One of the most important and grand events of the year is the annual day. It is an occasion of celebration, feast and festivity when students display their talents through wonderful performances. It's also a time for teamwork and being proud of what the school stands for and believes in. The reason behind today's celebration is the success of this institution for the past years. And this is an occasion to remember with gratitude all those who have richly contributed to the greatness of this institution. Our school believes in enhancing academic excellence alongside developing qualities like teamwork, adaptability, leadership skills, confidence, determination, respect and moral values. Prayer is an expansion of total faith in the present power within and around us. When we pray with faith, we express it through our sincere thanks to Him. Here is the school choir with the prayer song, All Things Bright and Beautiful. of all our strength and hope. It transforms our lives and enables us to become who we were made to be. It is the only means by which we can connect to our Heavenly Father. May I invite 
the wise president of Matoma Educational Agency, Reverend Shibi Vargis, to lead us in prayer. Gracious Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come this day with praise and thanksgiving. We praise you for all the divine guidance and the mercies that you have showered upon each one of us, especially to our school. You are the originator and author of wisdom and knowledge. And we, the children, come to you to understand, to learn, and to equip ourselves as better humans, human citizens of a nation. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this wonderful institution, our Sunday school, all through these years. By your guidance and your strength, we were able to do our great mission of educating our children and imparting knowledge to our society. As we come before you this day to celebrate as an annual day, we remember with gratitude all the great leaders who toiled a lot for the improvement of the education and also the betterment of our teaching and learning process. We remember with gratitude all our teachers, our teaching and non-teaching staff who joined together as a team working these days, especially as we move through the great turmoils of pandemic COVID-19, we were able to shift all our learning and teaching sessions into online, but because of the great dedication and the team spirit that you have given to our teachers, we were able to scatter the knowledge, spread the knowledge to our children and our students. We praise you for the dedicated services of all our teachers. We remember the leadership given by our principal and our director. We pray for the governing board, all those who are associated with the functioning of this institution. We pray for our students as they learn, as they come together, as they live under the shade of this institution. Let your wisdom and your knowledge govern them, their life. Help them to have good habits and develop good characters in their life. Help them to be truthful and trustful for all human beings. As they move out from these institutions, we pray that our children will be the torch bearers of knowledge and the light that they have received. We pray for all those who have gathered and doing different programs this day. Let <coughs> your spirit strengthen each one of us and we, were, we will be able to dedicate our life, renew our dedication once again so that any challenges that we face every day we will be able to withstand the challenges overcome the difficulties and come up with flying colors so that we will be moving into the right direction of learning and teaching and imparting education and knowledge in our hearts and minds of the people we pray for all the parents who are greatly supporting this institution with their prayers and with all their resources. We pray that through all this joint effort, we as institution will stand in this place, work for the betterment of our community and our society and which we can bring glory to your name. We praise you once again for all that divine strength and the grace that you have showered upon each one of us. Bless our institution. 
plus our teachers our students and our parents and bless each one of us that we will be a blessing in the days to come to this nation and to the society we give you all glory and honor in jesus precious name we pray amen our director professor thomas matusson is always a source of great inspiration his simple and courageous ways are precious to all of us we are now invite our director sir for the welcome address dear tirmani achin esteemed members of the governing board and marthuma educational agency respected principal teachers students and parents let me thank you all for the tremendous support that you have given to the school during the last 9 years and especially during the last year the pandemic could not stop us from giving quality education to our students and i thank god almighty for helping us to complete all the academic lessons and the core curricular activities in a timely manner we could celebrate all the important days of the year including the annual sports through the virtual platform i hope and pray that next year we will be able to come together and conduct all classes and activities in the normal way many of our families were affected by covid-19 but god almighty helped us to overcome it even now few of our teachers students and their families are affected by it and i am sure that they will be able to overcome it and be fine shortly i congratulate all the teachers students and staff who worked hard in making this virtual treat enjoyable may god bless us all thank you
to one and all. God gave us eyes to see the beauty in nature and hearts to see the beauty in each other. Yes, nature can be seen as an unlimited broadcasting station through which God speaks to us every hour. If only we have the patience to stop by and listen, then we can hear melodious music springing from the earth. God is the friend of silence and we can see his creation, this picturesque nature around us, grow in silence. The trees, flowers and the grass, they all grow in silence. The sun, the moon and the stars, they move in silence. Then why not we human beings who were subjected to the pain of a two year long pandemic take some time off from our busy schedule to stop? and contemplate on what we are doing to our Mother Earth. Find out ways and means to stop further degradation of our one and only home. Yes, that's the need of the hour. And 
with that thought in mind, this year's annual day focuses on our homecoming. Yes, homecoming. Coming back to our Creator, coming back to His creation and reconnecting with our roots. Ladies and gentlemen, may I also take this opportunity to thank all the distinguished members of the management, parents, teachers, students and all the staff for the support and encouragement given to the school all through this academic year. In conclusion, may I reiterate, nature is one of God's beautiful creations and let's do everything possible to gift a cleaner, safer and healthier place for our children wherein they can thrive and bloom into responsible and caring adults. Thank you. शिक्षा का सर्वोच्च साधन है और एक बालक का प्रथम विद्यालय है मन को समझने वाली माँ और भविष्य को पहचानने वाले पिता इस दुनिया के एकमात्र ज्योतिषी होते हैं अनमोल प्यार से भरे घर में मैं आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूँ आज आयान के ऑनलाइन क्लासेस नहीं हैं शायद बहुत से टीचर बीमार हैं आयान अपनी खिड़की के पास खड़ा है उसकी नज़र एक छोटी सी बिल्ली पर पड़ती है और अचानक उसके मन में तीन साल पहले की स्कूल ज़िंदगी याद आने लगती है आयान अपने पापा मम्मी और दादाजी के साथ रहता था आयान की मम्मी डॉक्टर थी और उसके पापा एक कॉलेज के प्रधान अध्यापक थे रोज सवेरे आयान के दादाजी चलने जाते थे उस दिन रोज की तरह पापा तैयार हो रहे थे आयान स्कूल जाने के लिए तैयार होने के बाद अपना नाश्ता कर रहा था सुनो प्रिया मेरी घड़ी नहीं मिल रही जी आपने तके के नीचे देखा इतने में माँ का फोन बजता है हेलो जी पापा अरे प्रिया बेटा जल्दी आ जाओ तुम्हारा ड्राइवर वेट कर रहा है जी पापा मैं आ रही हूँ आयान बेटा ये रहा आपका लंच मम्मी 
माँ के पास मेरी बात सुनने का समय नहीं है शायद माँ मुझे पहले जैसा प्यार नहीं करती है सवेरे 11 बजे हैं और अन का ब्रेक टाइम है अन अपने दोस्तों के साथ फ्रेश होने वॉशरूम जाता है वह हाथ धोकर अपना टिफ़िन खोलता है रोज की तरह माँ ने आज भी अन के टिफ़िन में एक पर्ची रखी है अन विस्मय में उसमें से पर्ची निकालता है और पढ़ता है अन बेटा कभी ये मत समझना कि तुम्हें सुनने के लिए मेरे पास टाइम नहीं है मुझे अच्छी तरह मालूम है तुम्हें कब क्या चीज़ की ज़रूरत है अरे वाह चटपटे आलू पूरी माँ को पता है कि मुझे आलू पूरी पसंद है क्यों बेटा मेरे मम्मी को फोन लगाया था पर वो फोन उठा नहीं रही है बेटा आयान अस्पताल से इमरजेंसी कॉल आया था तुम्हारी मम्मी निकल चुकी होगी तुम्हारा खाना टेबल पे रखा है हाँ, ओके अन अगर गलती मान लेने की ताकत हो तो गलती माफ हो सकती है अरे बेटा आयान ये कप टूट गया माँ गलती से ये कप टूट गया था आप मुझे आयान कोई बात नहीं हम दुकान जाकर एक नया सा कप ले आएंगे तुम्हारे लिए और मेरे लिए मॉम एंड मी कप क्यों अच्छी बात है ना पर मुझे गर्व है कि मेरा बेटा बहादुर है और वह अपनी माँ की बातों को अपने जीवन में प्रयोग कर रहा है रियली सन आई एम प्राउड ऑफ यू माँ बिना जिंदगी वीरान होती है तनहा सफ़र में हर राह सुनसान होती है जिंदगी में माँ का होना ज़रूरी है एम की हर माँ को हमारा प्रणाम He has swinglish Ashwin using his magical fingers on the keyboard with this beautiful song by Michael Jackson Heal the world
bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalms 103 verses 1 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, I am profusely elated in inviting our chief guest on this occasion, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Theodosius Marthoma Metropolitan, the Supreme Head of the Marthoma Church, a great scholar whose books on reform movements in Kerala and their impact on socio-economic and religious lives of the people have made a tremendous mark in the academic circles. We are immensely blessed to have him as the patron and president of Marthoma Educational Agency. On this glorious occasion, in all humility, may I invite His Grace to bless all of us with a keynote address. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It gives me immense pleasure to address you on this auspicious occasion on the 10th annual day celebration of the Marthama Sandra School Kavio Thiruvalla. Dear friends, I join with you for praising God for all his manifold blessings that the Matama Sandra School received during the past one decade, particularly in a strange and difficult time as this. I congratulate the management, the director, principal, teaching and non-teaching staff, and students of the school for completing another academic year. It is an added joy that our school got CBSC affiliation and the first batch of class 10 students are appearing for the board exam in this year. I pray for God's choices blessings upon all of you. The Matama Central School Kavyu is a prestigious institution under the efficient management of the Matama Church Educational Agency Thiruvala. I am happy that all the educational endeavors initiated by this society have become fruitful for the benefit of the larger society. My appreciation goes to the office bearers of the educational agency also. According to the National Education Policy 2020, education is fundamental for achieving full human potential developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development. The world in which we live is undergoing rapid changes in the knowledge landscape. With various scientific and technological advances such as the rise of big data, machine learning and artificial intelligence, Many unskilled jobs worldwide may be taken over by machines. With climate change, increasing pollution, and depleting natural resources, there will be a sizable shift in how we meet the world's energy, water, food, and sanitation needs, again resulting in the need for new skilled labor. The growing emergence of epidemics and pandemics will also call for collective research in infections, disease management, and development of vaccines. These resultant social issues heighten the need for multidisciplinary learning. Pedagogy must evolve to make education more experimental, holistic, integrated, inquiry-driven, discovery-oriented, learner-centered, discussion-based, flexible, and of course, enjoyable. Education must develop not only cognitive capacities, but also social, ethical, and emotional capacities and dispositions. It must build character 
and enable learners to be ethical, compassionate and caring. Martin Luther gave the best reason for further education when he wrote that the prosperity of a country depends not on the abundance of its revenues, nor on the strength of its fortifications, nor on the beauty of its public buildings, but it consists in the number of men and women of enlightenment and character. I am happy that the Mahatma Sunday School Kavyu is giving emphasis on scholastic programs to unearth the competency of students in all subjects as well as core scholastic programs like celebrations of national days and local festivals to familiarize the students with national and local culture and traditions of our land and people. I am pretty sure that the events like the arts and science exhibitions and publication of school magazine will promote creativity and imagination of our students. Friends, the theme selected for this year's celebration is homecoming. It means going back to the roots, which has contemporary relevance and significance, especially in a pandemic era like this. Though we are faced to keep isolated and quarantined, the need reconnections and homecoming experiences. We need that. The onslaught of the pandemic has left behind valuable lessons for humankind. For a holistic growth, dear friends, we should aim not for an independent growth, but for a well-integrated existence. We need to reflect on our life's return journeys and reconnections back to our Creator for our spiritual growth, back to nature for an ecosystem, and back to our roots or culture for moral and cultural growth. This spiritual, physical, and moral transformation in human beings will lead one to an integral well-being. I pray that God Almighty will bless and guide our Mahatma Sunday School Kavyu as it is entering into a new decade in this post-normal era. Dear friends, I salute you for all your achievements and I pray for God's blessings as we look forward to the future. May God's blessings be with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Vilod Tirumeni, for your words of wisdom and encouragement. We are so happy and blessed by your presence. Ma, Amma, Mummy, so many names, but all of these personify a special person. A mom carries her baby in her womb for nine months. Then she carries her in her arms till she is two or three. Then it's a loving mom who carries her child in her heart forever. Moms are always special people in every child's life. We now have a special dance presented to us by our three special moms along with their daughters. So please wait, watch and enjoy. I am a 
मुझे जब जिंदगी याद मुझे आती है तेरे गुस्से की डाटा भी तो तूने मुझे फूलों की तरह क्यों नहीं माँ सारी दुनिया तेरी तरह दिन भर सोच में डूबू मेरा तुम चाकू न सो तू ही मेरे सपनों में सजना into a big adult tree in the same way god has entrusted these little ones into our hands martuma central school is so proud to have a family that helps each and every child together with the school and the teachers to build up individuals today on this special occasion we have a very special mom with us mother of two children Adrian in class 2 and Michelle in class UKG. She is a working mother, a microbiologist. Today she is going to address us on this special occasion. Welcome Dr. Shirley Joseph. 
the joy of running playing in the garden the smell of freshly trimmed grass the first rain the smell of flowers and sitting beneath a tree and enjoying a book in hand fond memories of my childhood replay again in front of my eyes small things which brought a lot of joy this year's annual day theme fondly invites me to think about returning back to earth or nature respected director principal teachers friends and my dear children thank you for inviting me to speak a few words i'd like to bring forward two things one is regarding the joy we find being with nature children you are in your golden period enjoy live learn nurture and grow something green in your garden play with your siblings enjoy the present time which you get with your family these little things will help you to develop your personality get confidence and help you to sympathize and empathize with others thereby helping you to go on with conservation of our environment in the long run second is to be conscious of the change we need to make in our day to day life especially if we want to return back to nature all together you all know that corona virus being such a teeny tiny virus has brought a big change in our lifestyle we no longer go to school attend classes play with friends speak or get a handshake from our teachers or loved ones we are bound by the social distancing rules which we should obviously follow to keep corona at bay so don't be boggled with the change but relish think of all the positives what have happened in the last year now you are fluent with use of different technical uh, technologies and the different mobile applications the different apps you can attend classes in the comfort of your home you can listen to recorded class again and again in case you have a doubt and if you want you can even feel free to call your teacher and clarify your doubt without being scared of being uh, noticed in class in front of all the students so not all changes are bad right similarly if we bring changes in our habits to say conserve our natural resources try to live in harmony with other creatures we may not be too late in saving our planet remember change is inevitable and we all have our choices and of course progress is impossible if we are not adaptable to change i'll conclude by saying that no matter what life is there is a lot of experiences we gain this is all happening along the way they in enrich us they enlighten us and they may be what we need to open our eyes and look around children look at the plethora of colors a small butterfly has hear the buzzing sound of the bee look at the smiling faces of your parents and learn to fight for your dreams no matter what limitations be the change you envision or you aspire be one with your environment do it now or regret later so thank you all for your patient listening hamare zindagi ka har ek pal prakriti se juda hua hai aane wale kal aur aane wale peedhiyo ke liye hame is prakriti ko atyant mahatva dete hue sambhalna chahiye hum yahi jiyenge प्रकृति के बारे में एक सुंदर इस गीत को आवाज दे रहे हैं टॉन और दिया बोलो नीचा के बोंदो से पूछा बोंदो नीचा के मिट्टी से पूछा बोलो नीचा के बोंदो से पूछा बोंदो नीचा के
अंधेरों से हम गिरे हुए अंधेरों से हम बागे हुए अंधेरों से हम गिरे हुए अंधेरों से हम बागे हुए पल पत्तों ने पूछा पत्तों ने जा